Hello everyone and welcome to another train simulator video. We're going to be taking a look at the South Eastern Network uh, which has been made by Nicholas and it is on the Steam Workshop. Released a couple of days ago on the 22nd of December and yes it adds in quite a lot of exciting stuff. You've got Cannon Street, Charing Cross, you've got the full South Eastern Main Line uh, from London down to Tombridge which means you can pretty much now do a full run from uh, London down to Hastings if you've got the 1066 line as well but we're going to be going as far as Hayes on our service in the class 707 so let's jump into the cab and let's get going so good morning driver we have disruption on the line currently but you aren't expected to be affected we begin our rush hour on service 1 Victor 16 to Hayes set your train as you depart at 721 uh, is in the briefing cool safe travels but yes this is very exciting uh, this video was actually supposed to be for Christmas Eve, um, but it didn't go out in the end uh, because the scenario did have a slight issue, but it's all sorted now. It's uh, another awesome scenario by CrankyBot, um, which I'll leave a will leave a link in the description if you do want to check it out yourself. And it's pretty much the only one on there as of recording this, uh, but still a very good one. Uh, let's set that to Hayes. There we go. Uh, let's press T as well as I always forget to and I think there was something like 20 new stations uh, which have been constructed so here Charing Cross lovely looking station which you can see here and then if we fly along the Thames super speed there's Blackfriars uh, you also now have London Cannon Street uh, which you can see just there bit of a funny one Cannon Street isn't it but yeah there's uh, there's Cannon Street there let's uh, zoom back Let's hope the game doesn't bloody crash as we're doing this. Back we go. But yeah, this has been a passion project of Nicholas for about two years. Uh, so yeah, been in the works two years. And remember, this is freeware. This is you don't. This is not paid for. Uh, this is on the Steam Workshop, which just again makes it even more like, wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, very exciting. It's nice to actually have some more of the Southeastern network in the game. That'd be perfect if a three seven six released at some point. Uh, but yeah, here is the map. So you've got Charing Cross, Cannon Street, uh, and you can sort of see the new bits. So you've now got uh, this bit actually apparently has no scenery. Uh, so that is Dartford uh, to uh, to Deptford or Greenwich. Uh, that isn't actually there yet. Well, it is there, but there's no scenery and no signals. But that's going to be worked on in future. This is only version one. Uh, but you can do um, London all the way down to Tombridge. And obviously down to Hayes, what we're going to be doing, which is down there. Now, we probably want to get going. As we don't really want to be late. In fact, we already are late, because we were dally-dallying. I'm sure we hopefully might make it up. Right, off we go. Let's get that to that. Next station stop is Waterloo East. Uh, but yeah, as I said, very, very, very happy to be on here. Um, just... I need more third rail. I love my third rail stuff to have, well, to have a massive section now. And just so what we can do now, London to Hastings. Obviously, we'll have a change at Tombridge onto backdated train sims 1066 line is, is superb. Out we go of Charing Cross, which I've never been to in real life. As I'm sort of, a, I'm a southern region person, uh, or modern southern. Um, so whenever I go to London, it's London Bridge, London Victoria. So I've never actually been into uh, Charing Cross or Cannon Street, for that matter. Cool. Out we go, though. Got the London Eye just there, and the uh, Houses of Parliament, which are there as well. Out we go on the uh, wonderful City Beam Class Seven O Seven. I've seen quite a few, but never actually been on one. Well, I've been on a 700. It's pretty much the same thing, isn't it, really? Except these ones are weird, because I think they come in... Um, yeah, they're quite short units. Which was one of the first time I first time I saw one of these city beams. I was like, eh? Because, <laughs> yeah, they're like um, five, five coaches long, I think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're five coach units. Which, uh, being so used to the 700s, was like, eh? <laughs> That doesn't look right, seeing the two units in the middle. I think it's at the gap in the middle. Coming into Waterloo East, which is right next to London Waterloo. 
And then that footbridge there then takes you into Waterloo. And this is Waterloo. So we're 10 coaches long. So this is one of the newly modelled stations. And we'll go through our station stops in a second. But yeah, it's just it's great to have some more of the um, South Eastern networks, especially London down to uh, Tombridge. That bit's probably the most exciting. But apparently this was only supposed to be, uh, Nick was only started by doing, um, as it was in the Steam Workshop description, he only actually intended to do uh, the Bromley North branch, I think, it, I think he said. Uh, but then it sort of just turned into what it is, well, now. And I'm sure this will get updated over time as well. I'm sure more will be added. So it's it's very exciting project to get behind. So I'm happy to be uh, showing it off. So if you haven't, give it a download uh, and see what you think of it. Here we are. Actually arrived on time as well, which is good. I'm just hoping it doesn't crash. Uh, so I'm going to save it, probably at London, I'm going to save it now actually, just in case. Here we are. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at our station stops. Uh, we have got, we well, can see that there as well, uh, Waterloo East, London Bridge, Ladywell, uh, Catford Bridge, Lower Sydenham, New Beckenham, Clock House, Elmer's End. Uh, Elmer's End, the trams go there, don't they? Uh, Eden Park, West Wickham, oh, West Wickham, and then Hayes. Now at some point on stream, I'll do the bit from London down to Tombridge. Went once as a scenario for it, which I'm sure probably Cranky Bot's probably working on. Uh, he's got a uh, ton, absolutely tons of scenarios on the ATS uh, website, which all been fantastic. Played quite a few of his scenarios. The weird thing about this route is it's on the Steam Workshop, uh, whereas quite a lot of other sort of um, freeware routes, what well, you'll find, aren't on the Steam Workshop. So it's quite, it, it's easy. <laughs> it's very easy to get. Literally, Steam Workshop, Southeast, top one, download. That's it. Obviously, you will need scenarios for it. And it is quick drive compatible. British Transport Police. But yeah, this has been two years in the making. I think it's only one person as well uh, who's uh, obviously spent two years doing this, which is very impressive. Hats off. And all of it's free. Now, I think London Bridge, I don't think London Bridge actually has been changed. Apparently, it's set between 2012 and 2022, um, which I suppose isn't really a broad range, and not much, much has changed. Uh, I'll probably get loads of comments there saying, oh, lots have changed. Uh, so, it probably will be the old London Bridge, but that's fine, because London Bridge is an absolute behemoth of a station. So, understandably, it might still be the old one. But set between 2012 and 2022, so... That's where the references sort of span from. But yeah, it's great to uh, learn another route and do a new route. Cool. Obviously, usually we just go along there, then branch off over to Blackfriars. But we're going uh, right the way into London Bridge. And I'm especially happy for this because it's third row. You know I like my third row. Um, yeah, well, I I grew up and I well still am growing up in a third row. Well, the third row southeast. So anything like this always gets me. Oh, that's the uh, DST. You almost clipped by the Q there. I've been playing TSW a bit too much. Let's uh, pop that down, down to 15, let's get that up, 
Cool. As we make our way along. And we're coming into London Bridge here. It is the old London Bridge. Um, but I mean, that doesn't really matter, so. Going right to the end as well. Cool. Oh, oh, let's put that down. There we go. Right, cool. We are this is London Bridge. I can hear lots of other trains scooting their way in. Cool. And in fact, no, I think, no, hang on, something's, no, I think something has might have been altered a little bit. Definitely been some changes. There's a 377 down there. I'd imagine it's probably not every single bit of AI here because, well, it would probably end up crashing on the game. So, wise choice. <laughs> There's quite a lot of the trains which do run through here we don't have in the game. Um, oh, and I am missing one pack. I am missing the, uh, I think it was the 465, uh, volume 2, possibly. I know one of them are missing, so you will see a few less. But yeah, other trains, you've got the 376 which runs through here. Quite a lot runs through here, but obviously we don't have that in the game. Unfortunately, uh, that was seven, another seven hundred down there. But yeah, they are very nice trains, though. Be wary of adverse signalling ahead, driver. As many services are arriving into London behind schedule and are being prioritised for parking. Boo. We're more important. Uh, hang on. That'd be a good idea, getting the door shut. I'm so used to just doing it automatically. And let's go. Should have really set the reverser to neutral. Up to 20. So we might actually be clear for us. I don't, as I said, I don't have all of the trains. Yeah, Lady Well next. So, uh, sort of, I suppose, the fir a first for us. Well, all of these stations, I don't think we've ever stopped at. Mm, Catford Bridge. We might have stopped there. Yeah, Catford Bridge. I think we have stopped there. Because that bit's already actually in the game. I think. If it's one of... No, it is Catford Bridge. Yeah, so a couple of them there we have... Yeah, Catford Bridge and Lower Sydenham we have stopped at. I think New Beckenham. And then after that, none. They're all new. As I think Catford Bridge is included with the new Chatham mainline in the game. Possibly the old one as well. Let's get that up. Up to 60. But no, it's, it's great. Um, yeah. Let's get that up to uh, 60. So yeah, we know this bit. Uh, so we've done this bit millions of times. But in a second, it will become new. Just the way this is free as well, I mean, that's the thing. All two years worth of work, and it's on the Steam Workshop, free to play. It's, um, yeah. Amazing. i put that down. Well, I suppose it probably has to be free, because um, part of this route... Um, are, well, dovetail stuff as well. So that's the reason why it's, it's free. Obviously you wouldn't be able to resell it. But anyways. You should see the Den fairly soon. Millwall, Millwall Stadium on the right. There it is. There's the Den. <laughs> Just move the throttle around a little bit so the train doesn't uh, start screaming at us. That's another 700. On its way up. So yeah, every single time we usually go down there. Um, but yeah, so this is... This is about to become new. 
How far is it to Lady Well? Where is it? I think it's showing up, is it? Uh, no, it's not showing up. What's it saying on there? Oh, okay, about three miles. Let's get this uh, blind down a bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Up in a bit more. Yeah, so 20 or so new stations. Uh, tons and tons of new trackage. Tons. And it's not done yet. So, like that bit down there, which I think that's the bit that goes off to... No, it's not that bit there, is it? Or is it? Uh, no, it is that bit, yeah. So, yeah, that's not... Um, I think Deptford's in, but yeah, this bit sort of past here. That's not been... Uh, the, the, there's no scenery there. And you're probably wondering why this wasn't done on the new Chatham mainline. One, because it would probably overload the game. Because imagine it, you know, from here all the way to Ramsgate, Dover. And two, probably because uh, work was started on the original Chatham mainline. So it is on the original. But that's fine. I see it probably would overload if it was the new one. What's that one there? You cross that one there. Oh, it's lovely round here, though. Really nice. Cool. See, TS can look so beautiful at times. Almost as good as Train Sim World. And this sort of just scene here as we were coming round, the, the shadow in, the lighting, it's, uh, yeah, very, very good. And it comes down to 45, 20, 40, and then into Ladywell. So yeah, I've never, never been down here realistically. I don't, no, not really. No, I haven't. No, haven't been down here realistically. Haven't seen any cab rides of this bit. This bit is pretty much unknown territory to me. Sort of the southeastern metro. I know the southern metro, but yeah, this bit is. It's like a new world. As it's not on any other simulators. And there we go. Yeah, it looks beautifully uh, done though. 375 out. Let's uh, bring the speed down. Very close signal section here. Because we're probably waiting for that train there. That bit further down. Is it going to clear? Not just yet. Lady Wells just there. Cool. But yeah, what's everyone's thoughts so far? As we've seen, well, only probably 10 minutes of the new bit. But yeah, what does uh, what does everyone think so far? Just in case, just do that. Sometimes it is just train sim being funny. Bring that to a stop. Hopefully, it's not some sort of red light issue, because that would be annoying. Always get scared of those things, whether it would be a glitch or not. But I'd imagine probably not. Probably a train coming around here, which I think I can hear one. Yeah, I can hear something. You might be able to just about. Yeah, something's coming around there. Let's get that on. Is it a 375? Yeah, 375. So we're about, where, where are we then now? We are just here. We're just there. So that then continues down to Tombridge. Yes, train, don't panic. We're still here. That should then clear, hopefully.
Come on, there we go. We're off. So into Lady Well, 20 miles an hour. But yeah, so all of this is modelled down to uh, Tom Bridge. Um, and I believe also you can go to Paddock Wood as well. And then the Medway Valley line's there. And, well, what you'd get with the Chatham Main Line, Chatham Medway is all there. I suppose that probably has been near enough unchanged. So just left sort of how it was. Which is fine. It actually is on the Steam Workshop page there actually is a map of all the new places you can go and sort of the bits which have been slightly tweaked and the bits with no scenery so definitely worth checking that out if you do uh, click on the link in the uh, description I'll copy and paste it quite a bit of a gradient down there look at that reminds me a bit of the um, junction at Strood that bit being the bit going up to the uh, Chatham Main Line Medway there. Similar. It does look so good. Get that fairly soon. Well, there's probably not much point speeding up a station since you're just here. Probably only a little bit of uh, power. Here we are, probably to the end. Yeah, I think it is. Probably can get a little bit of power, I suppose, just to get us the oomph to get to the end. That's probably just there, isn't it? Cool. But yeah, um, as I've said many times, link will be below for the scenario as well as for the route, which is on the Steam Workshop. There's quite a lot of requirements, so, and you will need them all, otherwise it won't work. Here we are. And after this, we've then got let's have a look. Uh, Catford Bridge. Lower Sydenham, New Beckenham, Clockhouse, Elmer's End, Eden Park, West Wickham and Hayes. Have a train coming along. So I suppose from here on out they're probably very close together, the stations. You're going quite slow. Crawling along, what are you doing? Is there a red coming up maybe? Let's have a look. No, you're just, you're just going very slow. <laughs> Fair enough. Going very slow. Although I've had that before, though, on a um, scenario I made where it just goes really slow the train. It was on uh, the Bluebell Railway. Let's have a look. This is a, what's going on with that? Maybe it just likes to go slow. It says it's delayed. It's got a yellow. Hmm, not sure. Not too sure. Yeah, you can see they're all very close. There's uh, Catford Bridge there. So yeah, they're all very close. <laughs> Come on, mate. Slowest, slowest southeastern driver in the world. Right, let's get the doors shut. Maybe they're new. Yeah, maybe they're new. Taking it slow. Forward and let's go. So we've got seven oh seven double oh one. Let's get that up. But yeah, I am recording this quite late, so apologies if I am sort of quite tired looking. <laughs> So I was going to do this one earlier, uh, but then we ended up doing the train operator 377 video. But this is all sorted now, so we're on here. I'm sure there'll be many, many more videos and streams on this route. And at some point, hopefully we can learn it like this. Hudless. That's the best way to play. 
Yeah, coming out to Catford Bridge, you can see the other line up there, which is the Catford Loop, uh, which then takes you to uh, was it Shortlands? Yeah, Shortlands, and then obviously joins up with the um, Chatham Main Line there. Proper long platform here. Yeah, so th this bit we've seen before, Catford Bridge down to New Beckenham, but past that it's then new again. So this bit we've seen before. So I suppose that sort of link between London Bridge or just south of London Bridge to here is is new. And quite a few have seen new stations on that bit as well. New Cross and Lady Wells, two of them. There, yeah, Catford Bridge. Do that, get that open. So sure, no, we'll, we'll fit in here. Yeah, we're in, cool. Haze. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Forgot to probably press T again. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, be that one there, I think. I don't know, Waterloo East, Stunham Bridge, Lady Well, Catford Bridge. Uh, no, we're on time, that's good. So we're due in at 8.02. That's gone really quick, actually. It's been like 20 minutes already. Time flies when you're having fun. Let me wait. And yeah, this will be going out after Christmas. So hopefully everyone did have a lovely uh, Christmas. What did everyone get up to? Um, what did everyone get? Maybe you've got some new train sim routes in the sale. I suppose perfect time for this. If you're interested in your third rail, southeastern stuff. Uh, I think pretty much all of the routes in this area are on sale, the requirements for this. That's yeah, a nice livery though. Well, that'll be a curse livery. Imagine the old southeastern yellow and white on these. That would be. Horrible. There it goes. Let's get back in before we start speeding. Go back to that. Yeah, there's been quite a few uh, issues with these trains, haven't there? Uh, with the. Is it the yeah, because the, these were originally, I think, supposed to be for Southwest trains, or Southwestern Railway. Um, and then they did start having them, then they were like, hang on, we don't want these, so then they started handing them over to South Eastern. But then it's slowly going over us, so they're still waiting for the 701s. Um, yeah. And then the free, and I think the 377 South Eastern are using, are then going to be coming back to Southern, so it's all sort of a big circle. Coming up to Lower Sydenham. Yes, I know my lesson, and that's not Sydenham anymore, as I used to bloody uh, call it. I'm bringing that down. But yeah, this looks um, it's awesome. I don't know how many times I've said it looks awesome. I've probably repeated myself pretty much the whole stream. It's late. Uh, here we are. But I thought I'd get this uh, get this done now. That's pretty much after this. I won't have any time as it's going to be. Uh, I'm recording this on the 23rd. Tomorrow it's Christmas Eve and I'm out all day, so I won't have any time tomorrow. So I thought I'll get it done now, and then it'll be for uh, Boxing Day. A nice little tree. Lower Sydenham. There we go. Press T as well. Here we are. Let's have a look on the map. Where are we? We are here. Yeah, so this bit here 
we have um, seen before from Catford Bridge to... Which I don't think I've done it on a video. No, I, I haven't done it on a video. You know why? Because um, I did actually record a video from Catford Bridge to... I think it was Swanley. But then I realised this was on the screen. That was on the screen the whole video. So it completely blocked the view. So I never did that one in the end. I never redid it. So I suppose for this channel, this bit's completely new. But I've done this bit before. Yeah, south of New Beckenham. It's uh, all new. So there's the Bromley North branch then. Brom oh, there, Bromley North. So that was the original aim for it. So I suppose probably London Bridge down to, well, here. Maybe Nicholas is a local to Bromley North. Oh, they are really close together. Sundridge Park and Bro look how close they bloody are together. <laughs> yeah, then you've got Bromley South just there. So that was the original aim, and now it's well, all of this and the bit down to Hayes. What we're going to do? So quite a bit more. is New Beckenham. Right see the end of the platform here as well. Quite a big gap isn't there in the middle there. Almost as if another track used to be there. Maybe it was. to New Beckenham. Yeah, the possibilities uh, on this new bit are, I suppose, well, not endless. There is an end, endless. There is an end to it, but the amount more we can do it is great. And especially for sort of full journeys, as I've said many times, now doing London to Hastings is possible. Obviously, you will have to change routes at Tombridge. But you can now go the full way, which is um, fantastic. That's sort of the missing stretch uh, from uh, London down to Tombridge. Clock house next. That will be that's completely new. I keep bloody forgetting to put it in neutral. <laughs> Naughty me. So we've got about 10 minutes to haze, I think it was now. That's gone shot by. Right down a bit. So we've got 35 coming up. And one of the, one of the uh, requirements for this scenario actually was the trams, but I don't have the trams, unfortunately. So you might have seen some skirting across there. Yeah, um, don't have the trams. That's a 45, and then into the station. is clock house yeah so I have a new one cool yeah 376 DLC now dovetail please bring a 376 out and obviously you make sure it's it's good um, that'd be fantastic it'd be very suitable for well for this the thing is I would worry if a 376 came out because what are the bets it would use the original electro style sounds it, it would <laughs> here 
Here we are. I mean, that's an easy, uh, easy way to get to the station for the morning. <laughs> I suppose through there, over the footbridge, train to London. Lovely. Saves you walking around there. I mean, that gap might actually be there in real life. Quite possibly. Not there probably is a bit of a fence there, but maybe. Right, Elmer's End next. Which I think actually is the end of um, one of the tram branches. Let's go. Up to 45, then up to 60, and down to 20. Coming into uh, Elmer's End. Platform 3. I feel like this is going to be a bit like a barn green. Sort of with the branch line going off, and then one going up, well, continuing on. I don't know, Platform 3. Is it single track, maybe? Be interesting to see. Platform three. And we've got that twenty just before it as well. Oh, maybe not. I thought it might have sort of curled off a bit, and then we would have then gone on to there. But no. So a bit that barn green on the cross city line. But no, I was wrong. So maybe it has a, yeah, it has. It's got a terminating platform there. So I have absolutely no clue this this area of the uh, network. So uh, bring it down just a tad. There's the tent. Oh, there's the trams. It's just there as well. Wait, maybe the trams are platform free. That would be quite cool. I guess they probably are. Let's have a look. So yeah, you can see the trams. AI just don't have the trams um, installed. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's so a platform free. Is the tram stop? Oh, well, that's cool. Didn't know that. Now we do. How far does the tram line actually go for it? Yeah, okay, just to there. That's cool. That's some sort of passing loop there. But yeah, thoroughly have enjoyed the journey down from uh, Charing Cross. But yeah, definitely worth checking the route out if you haven't. I mean, it's easy. Literally, Steam Workshop, Southeastern Network, done. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing more to it. No, I mean, obviously, you need quite a few requirements, but doesn't you don't have to go on other websites and download tons of other bits and bobs. It's, it's easy. And it's Eden Park next. So I think this route probably is going to do quite well. Just the fact it's on the workshop. And yeah, this is only version 1. So there's more to come. I would imagine. Oh, don't speed, don't speed. Pop that down, pop that down. And it goes up to 60. Uh, so yeah, we are there. Around here, Eden Park. Oh, we've got another one after that, West Wickham, and then uh, then Hayes. Seems like quite probably quite a quiet branch, or quite a quiet... Well, I suppose this probably is a branch line, isn't it? Because originally it would have gone down there. But obviously that's now being converted into a tramway. So I suppose, yeah, this probably is, well, the Hayes branch. Or what is... So sort of still is, I guess. Now 
now seem very close together as well. Get a rear end shot. Yeah, a couple of great things with uh, what I've recorded tonight. Obviously, a yeah, train operator 377. And now this. Obviously, recording this quite a lot later, but... Um, yeah, good evening. And we get that up to 60. It's quite nice along here. It's, sort of, it's one of those um, bits of track where you sort of forget that you're in... Well, not central, but you forget you're in London. Uh, like on the Epsom Downs branch, you're still near enough in... Sort of, well, not the middle of London, you're on the outskirts of London, but... I mean, especially on this one, I suppose... You're still near to the middle of London. It feels like you're out in the bloody countryside. There's greenery all over the place. But uh, this looks uh, fantastic. And yeah, again, this is made by one person. One person did this. Obviously, with references, uh, who obviously were all credited in the uh, workshop description, and that's the um, the incredible thing about Train Sim. You've got the editor, which on other simulated games you don't have. Um, yeah, it's fantastic because anyone can make anyone can make a route, anyone can make a train. Um, obviously, you need the Sort of skill to do, which is another thing. Apparently, Nicholas was a very amateur route builder. I suppose he didn't really know what he was doing when he first started this. So then, making this is um, two years later is uh, a, an astounding achievement. Yeah, let's uh, do the doors. Eden Park. It's actually a really nice station. I like it. Nice sort of surrounding as well. That's why we are sort of getting a bit more suburban now, aren't we? Not too many houses about. I like it. But yeah, as I was saying... That's the um, incredible thing about train sim. Everyone has the freedom to make a route. Obviously, it's a bit technical and it's quite an old editor, but you can do it, and then you can share it on the workshop like this. I mean, if anyone does have any routes they want shown off, if you've got any routes in in the making, feel free to DM me. Someone over and we'll check it out. West Wickham next in less than a mile. Which, yeah, the editor is definitely, definitely something we need for Train Sim World. Obviously, it probably would be PC only. But, yes, that, that's fine. But yes, the editor is something we need for that. So, if you haven't already, uh, obviously, if you're watching this in a few months, well, forget it, don't listen to this bit. But, yeah, there is the winter survey dovetail are doing at the moment and they've got the list of things which players want and it's got the editor there as one of them put it near the top because then dovetail now oh wow a lot of people want the editor still um, and then things like this are possible people expanding routes making them bigger and better making their own routes for me the editor was way above multiplayer <laughs> I think I put the editor as, I think it was third. But not what did I put first. First I think I put, I think it was, I can't remember what I put first, but I know I think, I know I put the editor third. That was way above multiplayer. And here we are.
Up to the end. It's quite a nice little station. Here at West Wickham. Apologies, I just got there in time. Just about muted the mic. And here we are. This is West Wickham. And after this is Hayes. But no, it's been a nice journey. And it's nice that we've ticked off this bit. So the next bit will hopefully, once there's a scenario made, be from London down to Tombridge. Which I suppose is, is the big stretch. And we've only gone from there to, to there. Still have taken a fair amount of time. But yeah, so the next one will go all the way down to Tombridge. And that will be on, hopefully, a stream. Um, but I'll wait for a scenario out for that. So probably by the time you've seen this video, there probably will be a scenario out for it. We might have even streamed it. Actually, unlikely as it'll be Boxing Day, but keep an eye out. Who's next? Which is in um, yeah, just over a mile. So quite close to one another. Yeah, first time driving the 707. As every time we use the 700 enhancement pack, always in the 700. So it's nice to change it up a bit, even though there's not really any difference. Um, yeah, it's nice to be in this one. But yeah, big thanks, Nicholas, for producing a fantastic freeware edition. Um, and just a fantastic sort of addition to routes in general. And done a superb job. I think we can all agree it's a superb job. And yes, there might be a few bit things where you might be like, oh, that's not quite right. But just remember, this is free. This is just off the Steam Workshop easy. So I don't think there can really be any complaints about this. Although if you do have any feedback, I'm sure Nicholas will want to hear it. So links the link in the description will take you to the workshop page. Anything, put it on the comments there. And just remember, this is free. So don't be like, oh, that's not right, that's not acceptable. It's free, so <laughs> you can't complain. And anyway, this is uh, this is Hayes. I should really slow down, otherwise TPWS is going to catch us out. There we go. Very nice end of the line station. But yeah, that is one bit, and then on the next one we do we will do the um, the south the actual sort of southeastern main line down to Tombridge. Well, I'll just stop. Oh, that's weird. Okay, we're stopping here. Weird stop markers uh, there. You think we go right up to the uh, to the end? But no, we're not. Takes a bit of pressure off the drivers, I suppose. Yeah, it's weird the way we do stop there. You think we'd stop right up to the uh, buffers as the entrance is there. But yeah, uh, that is uh, going to be it, everyone. So another fantastic scenario from CrankyBot. Uh, and, well, an amazing bit of freeware routage uh, down to Hayes. Can't complain. Uh, links can be found in the usual places to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store, as well as to the Steam Workshop for this route and to the ATS store for the scenario. And it says, we finished Hayes a couple months behind schedule, but would it be would it be rush hour if you were on time? No. Take a break for returning to Charing Cross and scenario made by CrankyBot, who's made some awesome scenarios. Awesome scenario creator, awesome route creator. I'm Steve Nicholas. Um, but yes, uh, thanks all for coming in, and I shall hopefully see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.